but I really uh, am honored to be with the extraordinary workers of Allentown, Pennsylvania. Every day you prove that American workers are truly the best in the world, and that's what they are. And we're showing that now. We're starting to make more and more product in the United States. I was with some of your representatives, associates, they call themselves. I don't know. I assume if they're associates, you're all making the same money. I hope so. They call themselves associates. Sounds nice, right? More and more I see that. But it's good, and they're good, and they're doing a great job, frankly. But uh, they're talking about so much of the product now is made in the USA, whereas in the past it wasn't. It wasn't. But they were talking about 90 percent, 80 to 90 percent is made of what you distribute is now made in the USA, and that's uh, taken a long while for us to get it. I started that right from the beginning. Beginning is probably one of the major reasons that I'm here. It's called America First. We want America first. We love the world. We want America first. Today, we're announcing a groundbreaking initiative to replenish and modernize our strategic national stockpile. The cupboards were bare. You've heard me say a lot. When we came into this administration, those cupboards were bare. I've come to this major medical supply distribution hub because the workers here at Owens and Minor have a critical role in this national effort. And it's a critical role that you fulfilled incredibly well, or I wouldn't be here. I would have found someplace else. And thank you for those beautiful hats. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. From the moment this terrible virus reached our shores, each of you has worked relentlessly to get the vital supplies to our healthcare warriors. And they are warriors, aren't they? When you see them going into those hospitals and they're putting the stuff that you deliver. But they are wrapping themselves, and the doors are opening, and they're going through the doors, and they're not even ready to go through those doors. They probably shouldn't. But they can't get there fast enough, and they're running into death, just like uh, soldiers run into bullets. In a true sense, I see that with the doctors and the nurses, and so many of the people that go into those hospitals. It's incredible to see. It's, it's a beautiful thing to see. But uh, I really call them warriors. We're all warriors. Everyone in our country is a warrior. We have to be because of what happened. And it should have never happened. It should have been stopped at the source. But each of you has worked relentlessly to get those supplies to our healthcare warriors and all across the hospitals and specifically for this plant in New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. As you know, the pandemic has inflicted profound hardship, especially in the areas that you serve. Within one heartbeat, America grieves for every life and every family, all of those that have been lost, and all over the world. 186 as of this morning, 186 countries. What a horrible shame. And we thank God for the courage of those on the front lines. And you make it possible for them.